FMU, you're on the air. What up, douche? It's Ploptron 5000. What's that? It's Darren. It's Darren? Yeah, hey. Darren from work? Yes. What are you, why are you whispering? I know, I know. I, I'm, I'm, ha- I'm, I'm having a problem, and I, I, I think I need your help at some point. Uh-huh. Yeah. What's wrong? Well, you know, I went to that Motley Crue Kiss concert at, at the Kern Dome last night. Yeah. In, in West Newbridge. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God, it was nuts. Mm-hmm. It was really great. I, I was backstage all night. Really? Yeah. Wow. Well, you know that the Newbridge police are on strike, right? Yes. They want to have those new uniforms? Yeah. Yeah, I guess those terry cloth shorts and the sleeveless tops that they've been wearing since the 70s are, are really just uncomfortable for a lot of the bigger officers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, guys were just thinner back then, I think. You know? I think they were. I think it's a general, uh, like, uh, bulking up of the population. I think so. You know, there was no fast food in Newbridge until Kernburgers came to town in 85. Yeah. You know, everybody porked up. Yeah. But, man, those butter fries are good, aren't they? They are. It's so hard. Buttery. It's hard to have just one. So buttery. Yeah. It's like eating butter. Yeah, but fries. Yeah. But also, they're, they're so buttery. Yeah. I love the butter. Hey, can you do me a favor? Dan? Yeah, sure. Why? Could you stop saying buttery? Oh, sure. Okay. Okay. They're good though, right? Yes. With they the are. butter. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, yeah. so the the whole police force is on strike, so yeah, they have yeah. all these replacement cops now. Yes, they have gone to the the replacement cops, and it's a it's just a disaster. It's a nightmare. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So a bunch of these replacement cops were acting as security at the concert last night. Uh huh. Yeah, there was Officer uh, Halverson, uh, Officer Schwarzendruber, Officers Monroe, uh, Officer Palfner was there, Officer Smurthwaite, uh, Officer Veldenham. Mm-hmm. O- Officer Shropshire, Officer Walp, uh, Officer Hogan was there, Officer Ronald Duqua. I know a lot of these names. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. O- Officer Fontana was there. Wow. Yeah, the, um, uh, Officer Dworkin. Officer Dworkin, he's, yeah, uh, yeah. is that Barry Dworkin? Officer Barron's Dworkin, show him Baron. some respect, okay? okay? He's a cop. He's a cop now, yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. He can barely fit in into the, the uniform, too. He looks I, terrible in those shorts. Yeah. Yeah. They're weak cops, I'll, I'll say that, okay? Uh-huh. Yeah, case yeah. in point, how I got backstage? Sure. How, how did you pull it off? Well, you know that police shirt that I got when I went to see them on that reunion tour a few mm-hmm. years ago? Yeah, you wear it at work all the time. I do. Well, there was a great band. That was such a great show, too. They did a 42-minute uh, version of Roxanne. Uh-huh. I counted how many times that he led us in a uh, chant of Roxano. Uh-huh. 132 times. And did you chant along the whole time? Every time, yeah. You loved Roxanne-o, it. Roxano. Roxano. It was the best reggae I've ever heard. Well, I, I think I think you're being a little liberal with the definition of reggae. I'm not liberal. <laughs> no, I mean the the calling that reggae. You're being being a little loose with the with calling what the police do straight up reggae. Oh, I thought you meant that, that I was like in Obama's pocket. I'm not. No, oh, I okay. I didn't ever. No, never. President Romney. I can't wait. What's that? President Romney. I can't wait. You think he's going to be president? I, I, yeah, yeah. I've got another plan though too that I'll, I, I might get into later with you. Uh huh. Yeah. Anyway, so I wore this um, police shirt to the, the the crew kiss concert last night. Yeah. And I was walking by the backstage entrance on my way to get a, a Kern dog mm-hmm. at the Kern dog stand. Yeah. And Officer Brimstead saw me. Officer he, Brim. Yeah. Not the 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 the. Uh... Barbershop guy. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Zachary he, Brimstead. He definitely can't fit into that, yes, that uniform. It's like a cummerbund on him. Yeah, that shirt. So the uniform's just stretched down, like the shirt is just stretched around his... It's like a loincloth, yeah. Yeah, it's wow. It's thick. Okay. So, I counted four fat rolls. Ugh. I know. So you go and he's there. He's there, he sees my police shirt, mm-hmm. and he salutes me, stands at attention. Because you're wearing a concert shirt for the police. This is the police on it, yeah. Yeah. So and he's salu- Well, police, why is he saluting you? He, well, here's what happened. I didn't know what was going on. Yeah. So I walk over to him, and, and he says, hello, and he's still at attention, and he says, hello, fellow policeman. Uh-huh. What, what regiment are you from? Yeah. So I say, just off the top of my head, I say, I'm from the Regatta de Blanc Battalion. 
Uh huh. A police album. Yes, the yeah. second album. Yeah. yeah. Which is some great reggae, also. Again, you're but, very loose with what what is considered reggae. Oh well, anyway. So I mean, that's just it's rock music with a slight flavoring of of. No, reggae. I would say the other way. I would say it's 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 hardcore reggae with a little bit of. Hard. Little like a teeny slice of rock. Oh, that's you're being very. Uh, I, I, well, if you we, call me liberal again, I'm hanging up. Okay, well, I'm not. You're not liberal. Okay, I thanks. know that. That's crystal that's the clear. The worst thing you could call me. Uh huh. Yeah. Anyway, so Officer Brimstead, he clears the way for me to go backstage. Like, yeah. Like here, have at it. And he also gave me his gun. Uh huh. He handed it to me, said I could shoot anybody I wanted. So he, you had his gun. Mm hmm. Because you're wearing a concert shirt for the band, the police. I guess he thought the Regatta de Blanc Battalion outranked him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which it probably does. Yeah. Yeah. Anywho, so I'm back there, and I'm just excited because I pretty much only came to see Motley Crue. Uh-huh. Yeah, they're my boys. Motley Crue? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know I'm always getting mistaken for Mick Mars on the street, right? Mick Mars, the guitarist? Yes, yeah. People mistake you for him? Oh, yeah. I, I can't tell you how many times the new hires at Consolidated Cardboard ask me if I'm Mick Mars uh huh, or his dad. Yeah, well, Mick Mars is a little... Yeah, I could see it, though. I could see. He's the guitarist yeah. for Motley Crue. Kind of hunched over. Yeah. Looks like he's been through a lot. Yeah. They say, you look like an older Mick Mars. Uh-huh. Yeah. I guess the divorce really aged me, huh? Uh, you know, yeah, look, you're you're doing all right. Yeah, well, you know, I, I still can't believe that Judge Kern awarded her all my clothes and all my future clothes. It's been, it's been, your wardrobe is a very, I'd say, compromised. I don't have much. Yeah. And I'll tell you, winter is going to be tough. Mm-hmm. Thank God for the, for the global warnings, though, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, the glo well... I mean, it's, it's, I, I wouldn't, know, I don't know if I could count on that as a, as a thing to, that you don't have to bundle up but it's like yeah i don't know you well it's also it's global warming what is what you're talking about no global warnings they're warning about the globe getting hot mm-hmm. yeah mm, no anyway so i went to see the crew i'll tell you man i could listen to vince neal sing the phone book all night uh-huh guy's got some golden pipes you know yeah faultless individual that guy vince neal yep faultless yep what do you mean faultless like as a can, singer, can can do and has done no wrong. Has Vince Neil has done no wrong. Show him some respect. It's Vincent Neil. Vi- Vincent Neil. Yeah. So you can't think of anything wrong he's done in this life. No, I, and like I alluded earlier, I wish he was our our president. Uh-huh. That's what I got up my sleeve. I'm I'm going to get a write-in campaign going for him. For Vince Neil. Vincent Neil. Yeah. Vincent Neil. So you want. You think you think there's a chance that Vince Neil could be the lead singer? The, the lead singer of Molly Crew could become president. Yes, if we can tear him away from his hot sauce company. <laughs> uh huh. I didn't know yeah. he had a hot sauce company. Oh yeah, yeah. Is it good hot sauce? It's okay. Yeah, uh-huh. it's, it's not as good as Michael Anthony's, but it is better than Joe Perry's. Uh huh. Yeah. You really like rock? I love rock and hot sauce. Rock music, hot sauce. You know who has the worst? Who? Merle Allen. Who? Yeah. You know what it tastes like? What? It tastes like. You know, you can't say that on the radio. Did you bleep the whole thing? Right, I the said the whole thing. Yes. No, you didn't. All, oh. all of it. Well, it tastes like. But again, you can't say that on the radio. You did it. Oh, well, forget it. Yeah, you can't do it. Hey, so anyway, you know, Kiss headline this thing. Mm-hmm. And I'll be honest, they've never been on my radar. At, you know, I, 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 I just didn't, I, I, I didn't, I didn't get it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can, can I tell you something weird? Sure. First of all, will you promise me that you won't judge me for this? Will I promise you I won't judge you for what you're going to say? Yes. Sure. Promise. Yes. Say I... the word. Say, I will not judge you. I will not judge you. I thought Kiss was a movie. I'm sorry, what was that? I thought Kiss was a movie. I didn't know it was a band. A movie? Yeah. What, what do you mean? Well, I thought it was an electric rock album movie that they showed in arenas. I, I, I'm very confused. Yeah, I thought it was an, an electric rock album movie. 
you thought Kiss, you didn't know it was a rock group. No, I, I thought Kiss was like those James Bond or Star Wars movies. Like e each movie is a new chapter. You know, you see it in the store. I thought I thought they were movies, and each each thing is a chapter in the Kiss story. You know, like Kiss in Destroyer. Uh -huh. Kiss are dressed to kill. Kiss in Crazy Night. That sort of thing. That's very. That is that's uh, that's the craziest thing I've ever heard. I said it was weird, you judgmental bastard. Okay, I mean. That's a heavy one, though. I mean, that's... You didn't know they were a band. No, I, I, like I said, I thought it was an electric rock album movie. What is... Well, what... what I, I don't even know what an electric rock album movie is. You know, there's a bunch of them. Well, na na name, name one other electric rock album movie. Oh, don't do this to me. You know I'm terrible at trivia. Come on. You're terrible at trivia? You know I am. I always I, I never get get the right answers at, at the at the company trivia games. You can't you, you trivia eludes you. It does. I'm terrible at it. So if I ask you a trivia question, you couldn't get it right now. Don't do this, please. Look, I'll give you the easiest one I can think of. Oh, come on. I'll all right. Well, okay. Well, like the TV is like growing up. Like what? What show? Ha what? What show in the seventies had Fonzie on it? Um. Oh, jeez, come on. Um. Fonzie. Oh, um, two broke girls. Two broke girls. Yeah. That's like a new show. Is it wrong? Yes, it's it's not. Oh. You don't well, know what. TV show Fonzie is from. No, what, what was it? Happy Days. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Oh. Hey, you, don't act like you're better than me. I, I just watch these shows for enjoyment. You watch TV like it's a contest or something. Like it's a contest. Well, yeah. I can't help I remember the facts about it. Well, I'm not like that, you know. That dog don't hunt. That dog don't hunt. Yeah, I love saying that. <laughs> Great. That we don't hear that enough. Uh huh. You know what else I like? What? This ain't my first rodeo. Uh huh. I love saying it. I love hearing it too. You love hearing it? Yeah. yeah. You hear a lot of it. For some reason, that seemed to have jumped into the public uh, uh, consciousness. Par uh, 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 parlance is that, is that what they call it? The par yeah the par yeah. the parlance of the times. Yeah the um, the nomenclature. No nomenclatures. That's numbers, right? Nomenclature. Nomenclature. Mm hmm. Oh, I thought you were you were wikiing that. No, no, no. Oh, you're not. No, okay. I, I was. Oh. I was just listening to you oh. for a second. Should I keep saying it? N what no. Sting had the crowd say nomenclature all night instead of uh -huh. Roxanne Hill. Yeah, that uh, I don't know if that. Well, again, you know, there isn't going to be a police reunion anymore. No, they're done. No, Stewart threw up on Sting's bass. What's that? On purpose. Stuart Copeland, Copeland, the drummer? Yeah, he threw up on Sting's bass. Yeah, on purpose. And that's why they're not getting back together again? Logged up the pickups and they can't get it out. Okay, that... Yep. I, yeah. Where'd you hear that? I think I read it. Where? Um, punk News. Punk News. Yeah. Uh, punk News dot org, yeah. PunkNews.org. Sure wasn't like... I, I would, you, oh, I would have speak, assumed it would have been some reggae. Uh, yes, speaking of, did yeah. you see this thing about Billy Joe Armstrong? The the guy from Green Day. Yes, he he uh, you know he smash, tried to smash that guitar. Yeah, um, and he's in substance um, rehab. Yes, you know he's addicted to right. What? Punk. He's addicted to punk. Yep. So that's why he's in rehab. Yep. Can't get his, enough punk. His punk addiction. Yep. Where did you hear that? I read that on a website. Uh huh. What website? Punknews.com. Oh, dot .com this yep, time. Yeah, it's a different one. Yeah. A little edgier. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Hey, anyway, so so Kiss? Yeah? Turns out Kiss is a band. Okay. Yeah, and they blew me away last night. Really? Have you heard this song, Room Service? Yes. It's amazing. It's like my new Bible. Ooh, that's a... Okay. It's great. It, it it's the heartwarming tale of a young traveling musician uh -huh. who seeks solace from loneliness in the arms of a stewardess. 
uh-huh. a hotel employee, yeah, and also a 16-year-old girl whose father he's afraid of. That's what it's about. Yes. Yeah. Wow, those are, those are some pretty. That's an, I didn't know that was the, the story of that song. You should pitch that to the Shout Network. The the are you pitching shows yet? Am I pitching shows? Yes. Not really. No. Why not? You have uh, a lot of good ideas. Well, you know, I guess I, I I guess I'm just trying to figure things out a little bit. Don't okay. I? Well, don't take too long. Okay. Uh huh. Look at um, look at uh, Norman Lear. He yeah. waited too long. He didn't have any success. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, he had like a hundred shows on. Again with the trivia. I don't like it. Well, if you're going to say something wrong, that's not trivia. That I know he was successful. Oh, okay. Hey, getting back to Kiss. Yeah. Their leader. He blew me away. He's just amazing. Kiss is leader. Yeah, he really makes the band shine. Uh huh. Yeah, he goes all out. Just gives a hundred percent. Yeah. His name's Tommy. Uh huh. Yeah. Tommy. Yeah, he plays a flaming guitar. He's like a spaceman. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, I think that's the guy. I don't think he's the leader of Kiss. He might. He holds himself like he is. But that's a guy who's like a replacement guy. No, he can't be. What? No, he's. He took the place of a guy named Ace Freely. I don't know who that is. He was but, the first guitarist. Oh, okay. But anyway, this guy, Tommy. Yeah. Good looking guy. You know, he must get it till it falls off. Ooh. Yeah, I'm surprised it hasn't fallen off yet. Okay. And if I was him, yeah, it would have fallen off by now. Uh huh. Yeah, I'll tell you. If I was in Kiss, yeah, I'd be up all night partying, burning the candle at both eggs. Yeah. Wait, bur- what's that? What's what? Burning the candle at what? At both eggs. Both eggs. You never heard that saying? No, I've never heard burning the candle at both eggs. Crack a saying book much? It doesn't uh, sound like you do. Uh huh. Yeah. I, I. What does that even mean? Well, I guess it's a candle. Yeah. That's. I always took it as it's a candle that's in the shape of an egg or two eggs. Uh huh. Yeah. With like a wick on each end. Yes. Okay. No, the wick's in the middle. That's what makes this candle so special. All right. It's a, it's a middle wicked candle. Okay. You've never heard of a middle wicked candle? I've never heard of a middle wicked candle. Go into a candle shop much? I don't. I don't, don't sound like you do. Yeah, I don't ever go into candle shops. Yeah. That's obvious. That's obvs. Have you seen, have you heard this yet? What's that? People say that. Obvs? Obvs. Yeah. Or, or, or they'll, 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 they'll write it. Yeah. It's O-B, um, O-B. V.S. V- yes. Well, oh, they're so very, you've seen it. People are very busy these days, Darren. Yeah, they are. We don't have time for a lot of shenanigans. Or to, like, they're, like writing, obviously. Absolutely, yeah. That just like there's things to get to. You know who's an obvious talent? Who? Little Eric. He's the drummer in Kiss. Eric. Yes. He's that's, a panther, I think. Uh-huh. Well, again, that's the... Eric is not the original drummer. It was Who guy, is? Peter. Peter Chris. What? Yeah. First of all, that's two first names, which is really weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Peter Chris. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, that's like his David name. David Keith. Remember David Keith? David Keith. He was the... Who uh, was that? Who was David Keith? What did he do? He was an actor, right? Again with the trivia, jeez. I'm, but you're asking me who he was, and I'm telling you he was an actor. That's not me throwing trivia oh, at okay. you. Oh, okay. No, you're probably right about that. I'm a little uh-huh. touchy sometimes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And, and But, you know, I think those two guys in Kiss, Yeah. I think they're up there with their dads. Their dad. Their da- those they, are not... There's two older, old, two older people up there with them. Yeah, because there's the two... Well, the two newer guys in Kiss are younger than the other two. Oh, are, okay. Yeah, that, that it, that's kind of how it seems. Um, yes. That's not, those aren't their dads, though. Oh, well, the one guy, he's like this weird blob. Uh-huh. I think his name is Batface? Batface. Yeah. yeah. He looks like if you drop seven Butterball turkeys in a can of black and white paint. Uh-huh. Yeah, and then you put all the turkeys in a black net. I dropped my wallet. And then, and then you strapped a bass guitar on on those turkeys and the black netting and uh-huh. then you had a child play the bass yeah and then you also had a giant frog just kind of burping out the lyrics wait uh, let me get this straight yes this what guy this is the human you're talking about i think he's a human but they call him bat face yeah he looks like you said like six or seven butterball turkeys yes that were dropped in a, a like a big can of black and white paint yes 
And then you take those turkeys now that they're covered in black and white paint. Yes. And you put them in what? A net, like a, a black net. Okay, a black net. And, and you like, squeeze it into the black netting. Yeah. So you string them up. Yes. And then you put a base on it. Yes. Yeah, that's kind of accurate. He Wait, kinda... and then you have a child play the base. Uh-huh. Like a real, like a, a, not a particularly musical child. No, this child has never heard music. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Music has been withheld from this child. Yeah. Yeah. And then you have a giant frog kind of bel- burping the lyric. Yeah. Yeah. Well, his name is Gene. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Oh, well, anyway, the, the other one, Yeah. I don't know what her deal is. Uh-huh. Yeah. Her. Well, what do you mean her? It's a woman, right? The other, no, that's a guy. No, it's not. Yes. But she goes topless for most of the show. Well, no, that's Paul Stanley. Uh, that explains the hair on the chest. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's that's a that's a guy, Paul Stanley. Oh, okay. Oh, what was that? What? The lights just got dim. Where are you? Well, see, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I I, I told you I needed your help earlier. Yeah. Well... I love the Kiss show so much that I wanted to see more of them. Uh huh. So, I hid in one of their equipment boxes last night after the show. Okay. And I got put on the truck and shipped out. Okay. I've been in this box all day, mm-hmm. and I can't get out. You're stuck in it. Yeah, I think I'm in Philadelphia now. That's where their next show is. Okay. Yeah. And what? What? You You mean it's like locked or something? I can't get out. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. It's- God. Did you hear that? It's so loud. Can you hear me? Oh my God. I think I'm in. I think I'm in Bat Face's base cabinet. Oh my God. It sounds like his fingers are coated in fudge. Hey, Darren? Darren? I can't control my bowels! My God. Darren? Mike, can you trace that call? Oh, that was... I've never heard anything like that. Unbelievable. I've never heard anything like that. I hope he's okay. He's apparently trapped inside Gene Simmons' base cabinet. I, I guess Kiss started their show off with uh, Detroit Rock City. That's at least... That's kind of exciting. <laughs>